Hello, I am Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be talking about Live Text Templates. Live Text Templates is something new that came to Adobe Premiere Pro and it's pretty neat. What it actually is, is if you have created a project file in Adobe After Effects, such as an introduction or a lower thirds for your movie or whatever you have done, including text, you can now import it in Premiere Pro, edit the text and just use it in Premiere Pro without having After Effects, without having to open After Effects. But really, even if you don't have it, you can still edit these templates and these are called live text templates. So you can have someone else make titles for you so you can concentrate on editing, just open them up, change the text and you're done. You can also go and buy live text templates on our website. We already have a few of these. You can definitely check these out. Uh, it's like social media lower thirds where you can just change a link to your social media and then you can just use it in your videos if you're using uh, Adobe Premiere Pro 2017 or higher because it's a new feature. You can't use it in older versions, but it's really cool that you can now just use professional titles within your editing software and you don't have to go in After Effects, make your title, change your title export it without a background, import it in Premiere. It's a lot of hassle if you uh, do like a lot of videos or if you just want to up your productivity and this is really a nice feature and I really love it. So we're trying to convert a few of our intros to Premiere Pro on our website so you can definitely buy them even if you don't have After Effects, so that's really neat. So now we're going to take a look on how to actually create a live text template. We'll open up After Effects and see how we create a basic one. So it's not going to be around about the design skills. So I'm not going to worry about designing. I'm just going to explain how to actually make it uh, for Premiere. So let's jump in After Effects and let's start creating. All right, so before we jump into After Effects, I want to actually demonstrate how it works in Premiere Pro. So I'll import my live text template, for example, the social media lower thirds. And let's say uh, I want to use Facebook. I will open that up. And right here it will load the dynamic link server, so let's wait. Click on the composition of Facebook lower thirds, click OK, and it's going to import that right here. If we're going to click and see at effects controls, we're not going to see anything different like uh, usual if we drag it in here. So let's double click on our uh, lower thirds here and then just drag in the uh, video here so we don't have any audio layers. And we can see uh, right here we have our lower thirds. Um, but if we're going to click here and go to effect controls, uh, we're not going to see any different than usual. If we're going to click on this one, double click and go to effect controls, you will now see your text. So you can say follow us on Facebook and then write in your own name. So let's say just Facebook, let's uh, see and click away. You're going to see that your text gets updated right here immediately for Facebook. So now if we're going to see the animation, And because it's quite slow, we can create some in and out points here. Go to a fan sequence and render into out. You can even see that it doesn't take too long to actually load it up uh, for something that's not made in Premiere Pro. Of course, if you're going heavier, it's going to take longer. But you can see right here, we have our animation with our new text and we can keep on editing that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we can also go and import intros uh, with text, like for example, the shutter title uh, right here. I will open that up and click open. Well, okay. And double click and drag this in here. And also go to the effect controls. If we double click on this effect controls, we can now change the shutter tile. So right here we can see um, the text shutter title. We're going to double click on this effect controls and just change the shutter title here to subscribe. Now click away. And there we have it, our new text with the same animation, which is uh, pretty neat. So uh, of course, you are limited to uh, things because you can't really change uh, any of the effects. Uh, we can change colors if that particular project file is prepared to do that. Um, but yeah, let's go in After Effects and see how we do that. So let's create a new composition here in After Effects. Make it full HD, five seconds long and rename this to Live Text Templates. And then whatever you want to do. So intro, for example, and we can create a new solid here fractal noise just 
to get some animation going on. So noise and grain, fractal noise, we're going to do some dynamic progressive, whatever. I'll click on evolution time times 200 so we get some animation, some basic animation here. And as I said, I'm not going to try and make it fancy, so I'm going to uh, affect color correction, colorama maybe, and maybe change the output to a fire color. And there we go. So now we have something like this. And now we're also going to add a title here. And oh god, this is so beautiful. Um, but don't try to recreate this if you if you are trying to create something beautiful because this is is really yeah too bad. But yeah, it's just for previewing perfect and purposes. Let's add a color to so generate a fill here and make this black. And there we go. So now we have a title. Uh, we can maybe go to effects and presets and type text and go into the text folder to so close it down and open it up again and here we can go for animate in and we're going to try and pick uh, drop in by character here maybe now we have our text coming in like so and maybe create another solid and click OK or rename it to mat and click OK now we're going to drag this closed down here and then click on the title, toggle the switches, and track alpha mat. And there we go. So now we have our title falling in uh, with a background animation. Really simple, but yeah, of course, you can go a little bit further into detail. Uh, but here we have it, our project file looks pretty cool. We want to import this in Premiere. Uh, so we go to um, the project manager here, click on our composition that we actually created. So uh, click away of everything, click on the actual composition, go to file, go to export and here you see now in the new After Effects composition as text template. Click save but you have to save the project file first so click save and here we are going to save this as live text template for After Effects. So this is still the After Effects project file and now we can save it for a, a live text template here. So um, just and here we go intro, save this, and then we're going back to Premiere Pro, import this, and import the live text template here. And you will see that it's now an AE cap. You can also see the project file for After Effects itself. We need the e uh, AE cap here. If we're going to click on that and open that up, you will see uh, it's also loading the composition, so we'll have to wait a little bit. Right here it appears, click OK. Double click on it and go to Effect Controls and change like this video and if we're going to drag this well double click on it and drag in the video only we're going to see right here that we now have a different kind of text but with the same exact effects that we applied in After Effects so this is really cool really interesting definitely check it out and yeah if you liked this video give it a like also subscribe to the channel for more and thank you so much for watching goodbye